Okay, everybody, Stippling Vaughn, we got another package from Mandy Summers. So it says the right order in the front, it's Mandy Summers. So let's take a look and see what it is. We, of course, know that <clears throat> this is Wednesday, and the Friday previous to this day, uh, she released, she started the campaign for Pirate Queen 2, which means that we have Pirate Queen 1 here. And again, the importance of doing an unboxing video is it's a great way for the creators to have their own form of quality control without paying for it. Okay, so as we see, we got a ding here. We got some almost like, that's what it, you know, bang dented, which, I mean, we know that's a Gemini mailer. Okay, but still good to see that way we can see how the US Postal Service is treating the package that way if she notices a trend with all the packages going up to the Northeast she can address it so let's see here <clears throat> and we have sure enough we have Pirate Queen and it's pretty good included bubble wrap and we have two cards we got a PG card and we've got an R-rated card did not expect that but still nice so we've got our cards and we have our book itself I went with the Ray parody with all the different Star Wars in jokes, which I thought was really good. Let's get a marker out. So <clears throat> we have the Nine Numb Chewbacca. I mean, really, all you have basically, really, what makes it, made it neat was you have all the different inside Star Wars jokes and different characters here. So we have that. And I went with the PG version. I did not go with the naughty version. <clears throat> so, but then I understand this is the first time I've gotten a book from any creator that was wrapped in bubble wrap. So, I mean, hey, she cares. She's putting that extra step, taking that extra step. So, that's very good. <clears throat> now, again, this is one of those books that actually is quite important because when I back this book, um, I didn't know who Mandy was. Um, I'd seen this book quite a few times when I'd be looking at different campaigns. Uh, would always open it up, look at it. I was curious about it. Finally decided to back it. And it wasn't until much later that I discovered who Mandy was. But here's the important thing why this one's more important than even Kyle Ritter's book. Kyle Ritter's book was being promoted heavily by Ethan. Okay? This book, book wasn't. This book was pretty much, she was doing her own campaigning on her own, reaching out to her own people, or to whoever she could. Um, since then, she's gotten, she's gotten much better at reaching out and getting on other people's channels. Um, let's take a look at the Pirate Queen here. So, we have, use my other phone here. So, we have Pirate Queen. And it closed at 31,000. Pirate Queen 2 is currently at 16,000. So, let's see, get some specifics about Pirate Queen. Okay. So, she raised 20,000 with 246 backers when she closed the regular campaign or November 2020. And... When she finally closed the campaign, it was at thirty-one thousand two dollars with three hundred eighty-one backers. Okay, so obviously her goal now for let's go back. Yeah, let's go back. So obviously her goal for Pirate Queen issue two 
is she wants to be over two that twenty thousand dollars when it uh, when the campaign is over and it goes into band, which she is at twenty five days left of her initial thirty day campaign. So she's going to make that record. She's going to beat that number, and that's what your goal is when you are doing this. Is she wants to beat that record. She wants to beat. She wants to be at above twenty thousand when she when she closes the campaign and it goes into in demand. Again, this is the reason why I look at <clears throat> Indiegogo and not Kickstarter. And I will be going. I'll be talking to a lot of artists this upcoming weekend at the Baltimore Comic Con and I'll be telling them openly the reason why I go to Indiegogo is because <clears throat> I don't have a deadline like Kickstarter where with Kickstarter you once the campaign's closed you're done Indiegogo you get in demand so it can continue to raise you take a look at a lot of the campaigns that have done so well the reason why they've done so well is because they left it in demand you take a look at Graham Nolan's Alien Alamo an additional forty thousand dollars from when he was done with his when he, when it went into in demand, he wouldn't have done that if he was with Kickstart. Also, here's the other thing: this book or any Indiegogo campaign, you back it, the funds come out of your account now. As opposed to Kickstarter, down the road they come and then here's it could be a extra charge you were not expecting because you. Sometimes, a lot of times when you're doing these fundraisers, you forget about what you backed and how much you spent. So, but again, why is this book so important? She did all the campaigning on her own. She, it was not done through Ethan using the, the, his, his comics go, gate weight to promote the book. She did it on her own. That makes this a very important book. And you take a look at how she has grown since then. She's doing her Jack the Ripper cam. Uh, she's doing her Jack the Ripper campaign. <laughs> she's doing Pirate Queen Two, and Pirate Queen Two is going to be increasing because one of the things she has available in Pirate Queen Two is. Now give me a minute. I'm looking at this upside down. She has a new Pirate Queen issue number one cover. So that way, anybody who missed out on the first campaign has the ability to get issue one and issue two together. Okay, and you know it's. I know it's going to be in here. I don't know where exactly where it is because I'm looking at it upside down. Most likely, it's probably going. To, it's definitely going to be in your uh, uh, hollow foil box. Okay. Another thing, also, she has going on right now is let's see if she has it. The first week, you, if you back it, you have the opportunity to get a hydrofoil issue of the cover. Okay, so that's something you get. Have the advantage to get in. The first week that you don't get after week number two. Uh, she's also that's another thing that she does a lot of. She does a lot of hey, <clears throat> first week you have you get this. But let's say um, let's say uh, at the end of the campaign she goes if you back between Friday and Monday you get this poster. Well, that includes anybody from week one who backed it. They would also get the poster. So she has. Uh, her incentives are not necessary stretch goals. Hers are, hey, if you back it this upcoming weekend, we'll throw in something extra. And if you already backed it, you'll get it already. So it keeps the generation generating high uh, enthusiasm for it, which is always good. Um, I think she has the potential to double what she did with the first campaign. The first campaign she did 31,000. I think she has the potential to do 60,000 with this campaign, if not higher. Um, I think also um, with how well she's done, she has earned, in my opinion, she has earned the respect of her comics gate peers. Um, and for them to, uh, if she if if not ha, if not if they don't have the ability to have her on their campaign, to at least mention her campaign when they do their live streams, um, with especially the guys that do the late late night campaigns or the late night streams, 
And Andy has kids. Obviously, she can't be doing uh, the up at like 3 in the morning like some people can. But I think she's earned their respect that she should that they, that they can help her out. Uh, just as it's our responsibility to help her out. And that's the reason why I do these videos is to help the creator out. Um, the reason why I do these unboxing campaigns, like I said, is this is the best way for a creator to get feedback on the quality of the book that they sent to us. Okay, she's looking at it right now. I know Mandy will look at it. Okay, and she's going to look at it and she'll be able to tell that the book is in great condition. Like I said, she included the bubble wrap. She included the incentive stickers. And like I said, other than here and the other side, it's in great shape. Only thing that I would say I think, and I, no, well, this isn't a negative thing, okay? This is where I see growth, okay? A lot of people now are getting, they'll put something on the package. Like, they'll have it on the back in the upper corner, or they might have it in the corner here. Something that enables you to look at it without even looking at who it's from to determine who it's uh, who who sent it to you. Um, I think she's growing to the point where I can see her including a sticker and going as far as let's see here we'll go with the red. So let's see here. She has her little character emoji with her big boobs and head. Face, hair, hat. Okay. So she has that. And let's say she does the word bubble. And she goes, Aw. So we've got the, again, we've got the, the hat. And the beanie. And we got the hair. And the funny thing about Mandy was, before I even saw her book, or knew who she was, I was getting her suggested as a friend request on Facebook. So it was just when Graham and Andy were really getting big into doing their crowdfunding with Indiegogo, and she must have reached out to them and so I was getting this emoji of this big boobed emoji girl wanting to be my friend, being suggested like, hey, you should be friends with her. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't think so. Um, and obviously now I know who it is. It's Mandy. And the reason why I'm suggesting and this is she's reached the point that if she were to have like a die cut sticker okay she can have a sticker that she could slap on every single package and pretty much 
let everybody know that this is a Mandy Summers production or project that they're receiving. So, and I apologize for the sound in the background. The dog is chewing on her paws, hence she needs to wear the booties. So, but, like I said, um, quality came in good. I can see uh, much more uh, bigger projects coming down the road from her. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. But until then, remember, always take life one dot at a time.